In case you don't know, no FCT minister or traditional ruler has power to stop a protest. Sam Amadi, Sam Amadi is blasting Nyesongwike here. Nyesongwike has said that there will not be protests in a FCT. He said uh, he bans protests in FCT because that is the day he's going to do a word to the FCT traditional rulers. So it's a day to celebrate and not a day to protest. And he has again vowed that he will he, that protest he will make sure it does not happen in FCT. So he keeps on blabbing and uh, boasting, and still the APC government they are watching him because he's working their bid. Okay, now Sam Amadi has come out to tell him that look, <laughs> you know traditional ruler, no FCT minister has power to stop the protest, and that is it. I know a lot of people have blasted Nyesu Mwike that, look, uh, Abuja is not River State, or Abuja is not Portacourt. Better be careful because, they are, in fact, they saw, a lot of them have said that they will come out and they will come out for him. Let him get ready. Hmm. Now, um, an ex-account user, is <laughs> not, it's more than an ex-account user, Sam Amadi, who is the director of the Abuja School of Social and Political Thoughts, discussed the end bad governance in Nigerian protest on Monday. Okay. There have been numerous reports suggesting that the protest will begin on August uh, 1st. So on his page, Sam Amadi claims that no one in Nigeria can put an end to a demonstration. The rationale, the rationale he stated is that protests are protected by the constitution. So according to Sam Amadi, not even traditional rulers, the police or FCT minister Nisho Nguike can put an end to a demonstration. So he stated that the decision to participate or not or not to participate in a protest rests solely with the citizens. So in case you don't know, no one, not FCT minister or governor or police or traditional ruler has the power to stop a protest. It is a right, not a license. So you choose to protest or not. Okay. He noted on his page. That is it. <laughs> and that is the truth. No one has the power to stop a protest. So in case you don't know, no one, not FCT minister or governor or police or traditional ruler has the power to stop a protest. It is a right, not a license. So you choose to protest or not. That is for you. Disregard silly comments from anyone writes are constitutional so for many world rights are constitutional can you imagine so what sam amadi is blasting here is that none of them has the right to stop a protest okay it is the right of the people it is an integral part of democracy it is enshrined in the constitution protected by the constitution so all this one that Nguike is blasting and blabbing that he will stop the protest in uh, in abuja in, in fct it's just a joke. It's just a joke. So, and uh, now somebody is already writing here in the comment section said, all of them in government are now shivering when they hear that Nigerians want to protest against bad leadership. But they were the chief canvassers for protests during Jonathan regime. I wonder why they are now running from pillar to post and threatening fire and brimstone. Even that wiki that claims he's a lawyer is saying he would not allow protests in Abuja. I wonder if the guy is really a lawyer or he bought the certificate, both university and law school. Eh? Because nothing is impossible with our politicians. <laughs> not be lie. Uh, somebody said, can you imagine during Lagos State uh, Governor's election, they said Oro will come out during election so that people will not vote. Eh? No this uh no this same uh, stupid people now said there would be no there will be oro the same time the protest will take place can you imagine the country we are in can you imagine the country we are in surrounded by touts hoodlums that is why people are moving out of the country exactly so now they said oh, during the election the election time they brought oro oro dance to to deter people from voting. Now, during protests, they still want to bring out Oro dance again. And people are saying it. Ha. God help me all. It is just unfortunate. 
So, and I still make him out say that if, if, why is Lagos their people, the people's uh, target? Okay. And I say if the born you will come and do protest in Lagos. So they want to use the rule to pursue people in Lagos from protesting. <laughs> and somebody said, I know you. Yeah, you are one of those they pay 1k each for counter attack on social media. 1k can't take you from a Keja. Okay, from a Keja to a Balende again, oh, be wise. Exactly. Say that no. Can you imagine? Zero tolerance. The problem is that most of these people supporting the bad government, they don't even have good life. They are not even enjoying anything. Eh? They are not even enjoying anything. Another person I told him, say, you are just ranting. Oh, you are just a ranting ant. Wait till next week and confront your fellow Yorubas who are already waiting for the day. Exactly. Because the Yorubas are the people crying themselves. They are the people that will carry this protest on their head. I'm telling you, it's going to be Yoruba versus Yoruba. So let them bring out the Oro and let's see how the Oro will stop them. Hmm? That shows how wicked this criminal Tifnubu and his dogs are. They know that Lagosians, both Yorubas and non Yorubas, will come out uh, massively for protest. That's why they put the nonsense Oro festival. Uh, only good governance can stop protest. Exactly. Tell him, let us see how he will stop the peaceful protest. Because they think that when they bring out Oro in Lagos that day, that the protest will end. They will see how Juju will run. Juju will see something else and run. Eh? Protest is good, but no vandalization. Help me tell that stupid minister. Exactly, Nguike. He thinks that he can do what he's doing in River State in, uh, in Abuja. That is not acceptable. So even though he has vowed to ensure that there's no protest in Abuja, I am sure that Nigerians in Abuja are waiting for him. First of all, Abuja is a, is a, is a, is a federal center and all the citizens in Nigeria are all represented in Abuja. So that day, let him carry his thugs from Potako to Abuja to come and cause problem and see exactly how he will be received. That is it. But the truth is that the weakest arrogance is, uh, is something else. Even though they say it's Mr. Project, I don't see how you can do a very good job, but your attitude will spoil your record. That is it. It is not about competency. It is about attitude. Okay. Competency without attitude is zero. Attitude without good competency can be trained to improve competency with good attitude. But competency without attitude is zero. And that is where we keep forcing. So even though it's Mr. Project, but without attitude, He's going nowhere. I'm telling you, he's piling up enemies for himself, both home and abroad. I wonder how himself and his family and his children will survive later. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment. That was Sam Amadi trying to counter Nyesu uh, uh announcement that he will stop protest in Abuja.